today's video, I'm going to be talking about some skincare secrets. And whose skincare secrets am I going to be talking about? I'm going to be talking about Korean actresses' skincare secrets. Also, as a disclaimer, some of these methods I don't follow myself. And you'll notice that a lot of these skincare methods are very different from each other. So that just goes to show you skincare is a very personal thing. Everyone is different, everyone has different beliefs, and everyone just kind of follows something different. So maybe what works for someone's skin might not work for you, and what works for you might not work for someone else. So it's just kind of goes to show that universally there's nothing that works for everyone. So Korean actresses are very well known for how beautiful their skin looks. Some of these women, you wouldn't believe how old they are. And so I'm just gonna share with you guys some of the things I've read, I've researched, I've heard about their skincare secrets. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first actress we're gonna be talking about is Hachiwon. Now Hachiwon is actually 38 years old, even though she looks way younger than 38. I mean, I guess a lot of the actresses I'm gonna be talking about look a lot younger than how old they are. But 38, I guess, isn't that old. I should just stop talking. She is from Empress Key, Secret Garden, The Time We Were Not In Love, and she also has her own skincare line out. I've actually reviewed one of the products from her skincare line, the J1 Jelly Pack, and actually it was amazing. So Hachi Wan follows the idea of never allowing her skin to be dry. So she always has something on it to keep her skin moisturized. You're gonna notice a kind of pattern through a lot of these skincare routines is moisturization. So she always has something on her skin and she also follows the three second rule. Now the three second rule is something that I mentioned in my skincare hacks video and a lot of you guys were kind of confused about the idea of the three second rule. So the three second rule is basically the idea of after cleansing your skin, you need to get toner onto your face with in three seconds. So it seems impossible, but a lot of times you just have to pat it on after you're done cleansing and it helps rebalance out the skin because cleansing obviously tends to throw things off and how your natural oils produce and all that kind of good stuff. She also, of course, uses her own skincare products. So she says she uses the J1 Jelly Pack after cleansing her skin. So since she has such a heavy schedule when it comes to filming, she usually just cleanses her skin and then immediately after she puts the J1 Jelly Pack on her skin. And if you guys have ever felt the consistency of that pack, it is like super thick and almost tacky, but as soon as you apply it onto your skin and let it sit for a couple minutes, it just makes your skin feel nice and plump and it looks really nice. I could see why she follows this kind of thinking when it comes to skincare through her skincare line. She also never dries her skin with a towel. Huh? Now I know what you're thinking. How the heck do you dry your skin without using a towel? Well, she just actually pats the rest of the water into her skin after she cleanses her face, so she doesn't lose any moisture and she doesn't have a rough towel touching her face that usually has a lot of bacteria in it. Next, we're gonna be talking about Gu Yun Jung. She's from What's Up Fox, Sandglass, and Queen Sundok, and she's actually 45 years old. She's one of the most famous Korean actresses that are known for her beautiful skin and skincare. Because of this, she has her own book on skincare called Texture. It's a bestseller and it actually sold out very quickly after it was released. So if you ever read that book or if you ever look through that book, you will see that she is very, very meticulous and specific with her skin. Now one of her biggest tips actually comes to cleansing the skin and keeping the skin clean. So she says she doesn't touch her face, she eats very clean obviously, and she also follows a 15 minute cleansing routine. In this cleansing routine, she starts by working the foam up in her hands then she starts from her ears and works it along her jawline and then moves it up her face. Then when she goes in to apply skincare, she applies her skincare from the center of her face out. With her neck and decolletage area, she applies it in kind of like a C pattern, so she kind of works it in like this in an upward motion. Like I mentioned earlier, she has a really, really clean diet and she usually sticks to bland foods because she believes that high fat foods or foods that are super salty or even super spicy tends to have a bad effect on your skin. Another thing I was reading about her skincare that I thought was kind of interesting is she actually does a salt water wash whenever she has any breakouts or experiences any breakouts because she says that since salt water kind of kills everything, it kills the bacteria on your skin and salt water tends to be a lot more gentle than a lot of the acids or the chemicals that you'll see on the market. Next we're going to be talking about Bae Susie who is from Miss A and she also has some acting roles. Now, Susie has said in the past that she follows the 4 to 4 method when it comes to cleansing your skin, so that means she spends 
10 minutes cleansing her skin. So for the first four minutes, she works the cleansing oil into her skin, which helps break up the makeup and all the dirt and residue that's sitting on her skin. Following that, she uses a cleansing foam for two minutes and she uses that, works it into her skin. And then finally, she washes her face, or rinses it, I should say, and splashes it with water for another four minutes. So she must go through a lot of water. So next, we're gonna be talking about Song Hee Kyo, and she is from Descendants of the Sun. So she is big deal. She's extremely beautiful, and she's actually 35 years old, believe it or not. Like a lot of other Korean actresses that I'm gonna be mentioning today, she says she stays away from junk food and eats a very clean diet. I also noticed that she uses a lot of natural ingredients when it comes to her skincare. So she usually kind of alternates what she does for her skin. So one night she'll do an egg, white, and honey mask. And then following that she'll do a water and honey mask. So she kind of switches between those two and alternates. Honey tends to brighten and has antibacterial properties and the egg whites tend to tighten up pores and kind of smooth everything out and also helps to even out the skin tone. She also washes her face with milk, which I'm not sure how she does that, but that's something that I've read. And she also uses ice cubes to massage her face, so she uses it to kind of like deep puff and kind of tighten up her skin. Next, we're gonna be talking about Jun Ji Hyun, who is 35 years old. She starred in My Sassy Girl and of course, my love from another star. Now she also says that cleansing is a huge factor when it comes to having nice skin. So when she cleanses, she starts off with lukewarm water, not hot water so it doesn't dry out her skin. And then after that, she finishes off with cold water. Unlike some of the other actresses that have a very, very long cleansing routine, she tries to cleanse her skin as quickly as possible so she doesn't have the cleanser sitting on her skin and over drying her skin. She's also a big fan of working out. She works out every day and she's a huge fan of yoga and jogging. And she says that sleeping is also a big factor when it comes to having nice skin. So she says if you have trouble sleeping, or if she has trouble sleeping, she does stretching or yoga before bed and it helps her sleep better. Next, we're going to talk about Pak Shin Hee and she is from Heartstrings and You're Beautiful and she is 26 years old. So Pak Shin Hee is a big advocate of natural beauty. So she's come out on her social media and talked about embracing kind of what you're given and not hiding your natural beauty with a ton of makeup or plastic surgery or anything like that. She says that most of her beauty actually just comes from being confident in the way she looks and how she carries herself. She's actually endorsed by Mamond, so when I was researching her, I found that she uses a lot of Mamond products. And so one line that she likes in particular is the Moisture Ceramide line. She also says that she uses a ton of sheet masks and that she carries a facial mist with her throughout the day so she can just spray it on wherever she is. Lastly, we're gonna talk about Kim tae who is 36 years old, and she is also a huge advocate of working out regularly. She says that's kind of what keeps her figure in check is working out and also her skin in check. Now, I know a lot of us don't have this luxury, especially if we're outside of Korea, but she says that whenever she feels a breakout coming on, she immediately goes to a dermatologist. So in essence, she just really prioritizes her skin and makes sure that she makes time to take care of it. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to compile some of the research I've done, some of the things I've heard and read about into one video so that I could relay all this information for you in a quick and concise manner. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've heard of any other skincare secrets from Korean actresses or Korean celebrities in general, or even just skincare secrets you might have or have heard of. I will also be holding a live stream this Thursday, January 26th on Africa TV. I will leave the information in the description box below as well as a link to my channel. It will be at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time again, January 26th. So I hope to see you guys there. As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.